Hi, welcome back to the Loving Lisa Questionnaire Clinic. I see you're very comfortable. Wonderful. Before we begin, I must, of course, do this, but I'm going to need your first name, your last name, and your date of birth. Can I get your first name, please? And your last name. And your date of birth, beginning with the month, day, and year. We had a little change today. Okay, let's just input this. There we go. Here's your file. Okay, so you last were doing 50, would you rather? Let's do some yes or no. Question four, do you think you've met someone who could have been the one, but circumstances kept you apart? Question five, have you ever had a deja vu moment that made you question the nature of time? Question six, would you want to know the exact date of your future, including successes and hardships? Question seven, do you believe in the concept of soulmates, even if that means people can have multiple soulmates? Question 8. Have you ever experienced a coincidence so eerie that it almost felt as though fate were at play? Question 9. Would you want to live in a world where thoughts could be read easily, meaning there was no error for lies? Question 10. Have you ever felt an unexplainable connection with a place you've never been to before? Question 11. Do you think people can change fundamentally? Question 
Question 12. Have you ever had a gut feeling about something that turned out to be true? Question 13. Would you choose immortality if it meant watching loved ones age and pass away? Question 14. Have you ever encountered a situation that made you question the nature of your relationships? Question 15. If you could have the ability to time travel to the past, would you take it? Question 16. Do you believe in the existence of extraterrestrial life somewhere in the universe? Question 17. Have you ever experienced a small decision leading to a significant turning point in your life? Question 18. Would you want to know the true purpose of your existence, even if that purpose might be extremely unsettling? Question 19. Have you ever had a life-changing moment sparked by a random encounter with a complete Stranger. Question 20. Would you rather have the power to control minds but risk losing your own free will? Question 21. Have you ever had a dream that inspired you to change something about your life? Question 22. Do you believe in the idea that certain numbers or symbols hold special significance in your life? Question 23. If you could, would you want to know the exact moment of your own death? Question 24. Have you ever felt a connection to a historical figure as if you shared a similar destination or destiny? Twenty-five. Would you choose to erase a painful memory if given the opportunity? Question twenty-six. Have you ever experienced a moment of profound clarity that changed your perspective? Twenty-seven, do you believe in the concept of karma, that your actions from your past influence your future? Question twenty-eight, if given the chance, would you want to be able to communicate with animals? Question 29. 
Have you ever felt a deep connection to a piece of music as though it spoke directly to your soul? Question 30. Would you want to know the thoughts of those around you even if they were constantly negative? Question 31. Have you ever passed gas at school when you were younger? Thirty-two, do you believe that life is shaped by random chances rather than destiny? Question thirty-three, would you want to experience the emotions and memories of others for a day? Question 34. Have you ever had a premonition that turned out to be eerily accurate? Thirty-five. Would you choose to forget your past completely if it meant a completely fresh start with no mistakes? Question 36. Do you believe in the concept of time as a linear progression rather than a more complex web? Thirty-seven. Have you ever had a serendipitous moment that led to a significant romantic encounter? Thirty-eight. Would you want to have the ability to heal others with a touch, even if it meant taking on their pain temporarily? Thirty-nine. Do you believe in the power of positive thinking influencing your reality? Question 40. Have you ever felt a connection to an object that seemed beyond explanation? 41. Have you ever felt like you've had a past life, for example, having lived in a different era? 42. Would you want to know the stories behind every object you own if they could tell tales of the past when you touch them? 43. Would you want to know if your future holds fame and recognition even if it came with challenges? 44. Do you believe in the idea that energy can be transferred between people through touch? 45. Do you believe in the evil eye, such as Malokyo? 46. Would you choose to explore the mysteries of the universe even if it meant facing the unknown? Question 47. 
Have you ever had a vivid dream that you wished to continue even after you woke up? Forty-eight. Have you ever fallen in love with someone from your dreams and woke up saddened by the reality that this person does not exist? Forty-nine. Do you believe in the power of manifestation, such as thoughts being able to shape your reality? And question number 50, have you ever had a conversation with someone that felt like you were speaking a shared language unique to just the two of you? Thank you, you've answered 50 questions of the yes or no variety going to be inputting your results on my computer. I'm asking you just a few more. Okay. Transferring that over, making the switch. Let's see. 50. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the least and 10 being the most, how interesting did you find these questions? And on a scale of 1 to 10, how personal did you find these questions? And on a scale of 1 to 10, how much did you enjoy my interview style? And on a scale of 1 to 10, how likely would you be to subscribe to my services for future questions at the Lolling Lisa Questionnaire Clinic? Okay. Let's just input that. And just a reminder to you that all of your answers will remain confidential, unless, of course, you do choose to share these with the group. Yes. Okay. Let's just close up your file now. 50. Yes or no. Complete it. Okay. Wonderful. Putting this down. Well, thank you so much for completing another Lowing Lisa questionnaire at the Lowing Lisa Questionnaire Clinic. I do really appreciate you engaging in these surveys and being very honest. It's quite refreshing. Okay, well, you take care, and don't forget to help yourself to some chocolates on your way out. We have lots left over from Valentine's. Oh, yeah. All right. Until next time, stay safe. Be well, and I will see you when I see you.